Hello there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Lewis, you're watching, you know, Adam Lewis TV. So we're gonna talk a little bit about AMC and uh, the short squeeze because we know if you're an ape like me, you know AMC's gonna short squeeze. It's gonna moon. Back in June of last year, that was nothing. That was not a short squeeze. That was fear of missing out. There were some shares being pumped into it. It was not a short squeeze. When you see the short squeeze, you'll know it's going to be beautiful. Let me, let's dive in a little bit and talk about AMC. These are some of the reasons. Here, here are some examples of what I think. And this is, again, my opinion only. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice whatsoever. But these are my thoughts of why I still believe AMC is going to go to the moon. It is still the most heavily shorted stock in American history. We have had, since this whole game started, uh, the AMC play, we have had a bunch of people come on as gurus, you know, you know who I'm talking about, who are simply no longer here. They've moved on to other stocks. Now that tells, some, that tells me something. And again, my thoughts only, I'm not a financial advisor, take this for entertainment purposes only. But my thoughts are, I'm thinking they may be working for somebody. Do you know what I mean? To pump up a stock, to, you know, hype up a stock. They did it with AMC. Now they're doing it with GTII or something. So I, I'm not even, I don't even care about any of that. My play is AMC stock and AMC stock only right now. I do do cryptocurrencies. And as a matter of fact, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now with notifications. Smash that like button. You're going to get notified every time I do an, uh, uh, upload any video. But we're going to be doing two more videos tonight. One's going to be on XRP, what I think we can expect with XRP. And the other one, La Otra, is going to be on a, a crypto called Polkadex, ticker PDEX. So make sure you subscribe. You'll be notified when I put those up. Like those, share those, let's get those popular. Uh, but these are cryptos that you're going to love. The, these are cryptos that I'm putting in my index fund, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, AMC. So these guys came along, these gurus. You know who I'm talking about. There's a, there's a handful of them. With many thousands of subscribers, they are definitely influencers in the field, in the uh, space. But they're no longer here. So... That kind of tells me a little something about, you know, what's up? I mean, I, I really don't know. I can't answer that. What I do know in my heart is that AMC is going to squeeze. I know it's going to go to numbers that we haven't even seen possible. Uh, yes, Volkswagen and BlackBerry and all these others. This is going to freaking blow them out of the water. Um, simply by the short positions alone. Uh, you know, we're, we're coming up on a time now that the economy's tough. Times are getting tight. Uh Money's not available. Interest rates are high. Banks can no longer really afford to go down with this ship with these hedge funds if they start getting margin call. And that, I believe, is right around the corner. I mean, look what we got going on right now with hedge funds, with banks, Deutsche Bank, banks overseas. All these things are these, these these financial institutions are, if not collapsing on the brink of collapse, China's economy, the UK's economy. I mean, all this is going to have a rippling effect and it's going to hit here in the USA, too. And you know, they're all tied together. All these hedge funds and, and make money uh, market makers are all tied together and been tossing paper back and forth to help, you know, the illusion of everything's okay, but everything's not okay. Nothing's been okay financially in the world since 2008. And I think we're seeing that come true right now. Nothing's okay. So what's going to happen, in my opinion, is hedge funds are going to start getting margin call. And when those things start happening and smaller hedge funds up to the largest ones out there start getting banged and liquidated and vaporized, this thing is going to start squeezing. What happens when that happens is that 
these hedge funds, they got to start liquidating all other long positions. They're Teslas, they're Microsofts, they're Amazons, Chipotle, whatever they're into, long, where they have kajillions of dollars in, they get liquefied. They get vaporized. They get, they got to give it up. And that money is going to go to pay for this uh, this short squeeze. Will it reach $50,000 a share? Will it reach $100,000 a share? Will it reach $10,000 a share? Those numbers are pretty high. I'm hoping they will. All indicators technically point to, yes, that those numbers are realistic. Uh, and, and if that is the case, let me tell you something. That's why they're holding their positions and ping-ponging this back and forth and, and not allowing it to squeeze is because it costs them less money every day. In the long run, it would cost them, well, you know the numbers, 50000 a share, 10000 a share times 500 million share, whatever, however many they got to cover. It costs them less money to keep the positions alive and this thing kicking down the road than it would to pay us off. So that's all going to come to an end. It's only a matter of time. Diamonds are minted under pressure over time. You want to be a diamond? You want to hold your AMC. Millionaires are not minted overnight. This is this is stuff that you were playing in the big boys league here. And we caught on to something that they didn't expect us to catch on to. And they're kicking the can down the road as long as they can. But let me tell you something. Unless they got some trickery, hocus pocus, schmocus going on that's going to make this thing disappear, we're going to get paid. It's only a matter of time. GameStop, AMC stock, you know, Sundial, all these shorted positions will have their payday. I strongly believe that. I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you think the realistic price target of AMC will be during a short squeeze. Um, you know, make sure you set your alerts up. So when it hits 10 bucks, you're alerted. When it hits 20 bucks, you're alerted. When it hits 50 bucks, because when it hits those numbers, 60, 70 and above, this thing's going to go berserk. I want to be on my phone, on my device, on my computer, calling my freaking broker and being ready to make my move. Some are going to get filthy freaking rich. Some are going to have a lot more money than they did yesterday when this thing squeezes. There's a big range. So wherever you're at, hold your position until your number is met. Don't paper hand this thing. Again, not financial advice. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? But do yourself a favor. Hold. Watch other videos. You got Thomas James kicking out some great stuff. I strongly recommend you check him out. Uh, also go on Reddit. You know, find out what they're talking about on Reddit. All these things will help motivate you to keep just holding your position. You can't lose any money if you sell now, right? If you bought it 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars a share and you still got your shares, but now you're seeing in the negatives, it's disgusting. I get it. Trust me, I get it. You can't lose unless you sell, right? So if you hold and this thing squeezes, you're gonna be you're gonna be telling everybody I told you so, and I hope that's the case. I hope they don't fuck us, and I hope we get. And I'm sorry to use that language. I, if you're you, if you're sitting there with your kids, my bad, kids. I'll put a dollar in the dirty mouth uh, jar, whatever. But trust me, if they f us, they're going to piss off a lot of people. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we just got to stay the, stay the course. Hang in there. Hang in there with me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please subscribe. Smash that like button. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.